guys, I'm Ella May, and I'm gonna tell you about my skincare routine and my brief hair care routine today. So I'll get up in the morning and wash my face. Mm -hmm. And I use lukewarm water, so a bit of cold and a bit of hot, just so it's not too hot but not too cold to kind of get my pores open a little bit. Then I use my cleanser. I use Burt's Bees about this much. Scrub it into my hand, all around. And I don't use much as you can see. Because I have sensitive skin, I've always like had to make sure I don't use anything that makes me break out or makes me get rashes or anything. So I've kind of had to be into skincare. Otherwise I'll walk around looking like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So I'll leave it for about two or three minutes and then I'll wash it off, so I'm gonna wash it off. And the next step is this Jerlic Rose Water Balancing Mist, which I love because it's super refreshing, so especially in the morning. But you don't need to use too much. Sometimes I spray it in my hand, but for the most part, I'll just spray it on my face like this. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, which I'll show you. And then with my hand, I just gently dab it in, like not rub it, so it's still damp a little bit, and let it air dry. So whatever you're, whatever you're doing on your daily routine, just like forget about it for like three minutes. And I have to let it dry. <laughs> I drink a lot of water. Like I've been trying to cut, for ages I cut out juice. I don't drink any fizzy drinks other than ginger beer, which is my weakness, but I try and keep it to a minimum. You'll always see me with a bottle of water in my hand. And I think that has a lot to do with, with having clear skin. It's obviously genetics as well. Thank you, mum. Love you. <laughs> this is my favorite. It has a little, what's this called? I don't even know what this is called. We're gonna go with a dripper. I drop one, two, three, and I just, rub it into my palm. And again, the same way I was doing with the cleanser, I'll just smooth it out. I have a spot coming here and it's really bothering me. Pray for me, guys. Now onto lips, which is probably my favorite because I think my lips are my best feature. <laughs> I literally just use Burt's Bees again. This one is Vanilla Bean, which is one of my favorites. But I always have this in my pocket. You will never ever catch me without this in my pocket. That's all you need, you don't need a lot, depending on the size of your lips. I travel so much and being on tour and stuff, you have to make sure you keep your hair moisturized, especially because I have curly hair and curly hair gets drier than, than straight hair because of the way that the oils travel down the follicle. So, I sound like such a professional. Um, once I get out of the shower and my hair is wet, I will do a little wash and go basically. So, take some water, spray it, so as you can see. Get it nice and damp. Then I'll take my brush, just brush through it really lightly, brush the product through the hair. Then I'll scrunch it up and separate the curls individually, not like individually, individually, but just very simple. When I was younger, when I was about 16, I would straighten my hair a lot um, and blow dry it a lot and dye it and all the stuff that you do when you're trying to like be experimental. And I feel like it ruined my curl pattern a little bit. So uh, for ages I've kind of just tried to use no heat and let it air dry and use um, just water really and whatever I can that's gonna make my hair to not have any damage. The last step, which is my baby hairs, which is my favorite part, I'll use this molding paste, it looks like this, and I'll take the smallest part and then I use this little brush, which a lot of people use a toothbrush or anything, it's pretty similar, but depending. I have quite a lot of baby hair, so it takes me a little bit. Take the brush and kind of go, and there you have it. Let me do the other side. I actually have more baby hair, I feel like. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I feel like on this side. So I'll use a little bit more and do the same thing. This molding paste is actually matte, um, and I prefer to use this because I have quite an oily scalp, which is weird because like I have a sensitive and almost dry skin. These baby hairs sit a little different, so try and match it up. I prefer this side, to be honest. And, ta-da! I will use this, my moisture, just all over. Easy breezy, beautiful. So now for my finishing touches, my ultimate fave, Fenty Beauty. It's like an everyday simple gloss that's simple but effective. Oh, just missed my lip. <laughs> and after my lip gloss, I'll just put in hoop earrings on my new thing. 
If you would have asked me like six months ago, it probably would have just been stud earrings, but I've been feeling hoop earrings lately, so. And I'm ready for the day! That's my daily, very, very quick skincare, hair care, finishing touches routine. And that's it, thank you for watching. Take care.